Well guys, this is how I normally start my videos each year. Um, it's Saturday 7th April 2018 and uh, yeah this is my first trip tomorrow um, of the year, carp fishing. Um, I went in February to Spain fishing for the barbel. That was hardcore, I had a cracking trip but um, yeah, we didn't catch much. The boys had one each, um, 17 pound barbel. Um, but yeah, didn't get around to my turn on the rods and that, uh, yeah, that turned out to be a grueler. But you know, spectacular scenery. And uh, with Rao and Tono, you know, a cracking week uh, with Clay and Gal. But anyway, that was back in February. And as I say, it's now April. And as I'm talking to the camera, this is the first nice day. It's like 20 degrees out here and uh, it seems like the winter's gone on forever. But anyway, tomorrow I'm off to Labyrinth on a charity week arranged by Darren Buck for Mind, um, the charity, which we'll talk to Darren about um, when we're with him. It's nearly two years ago he arranged this trip and you know all of a sudden it's here. Um, there's 16 anglers I believe fishing at Labby uh, for the week and when they say match I'm not sure how that all works out. The fact of the matter is I'm happy to be there and happy to be fishing um, and I'm fishing with Eric. So um, I set off tomorrow morning and having fished there before um, twice I think both in Falling Tree which is my favourite swim I've got to say um, I really like that swim um, yeah there's 16 of us a few people I know um, most of whom I won't I'll be meeting Darren for the first time um, so yeah watch this space as far as fishing this year is concerned I'll cover it more during the course of the week but you know I've got my rainbow trips um, my fillet trips a um, couple of other trips here and there um, which I always look forward to but for now my concentration is on Labby and uh, yeah looking forward to a cracking week ahead and not least of all I think we're quite fortunate in that the weather has started to warm up down there it's, it's almost like in the UK and France we're like three weeks behind with the weather but my daffodils have finally come up um, and that's always a sign of spring so as I say really looking forward to it and uh, yeah catching up with some old friends and, uh, and making new ones Catching a 6.50 a.m. Sunday morning on my way. It's pissing down here in the UK. Hopefully it's brighter over at, uh, at Labby. Well, it's one o'clock Sunday. John's just let us in. I had an easy, easy drive down through Paris, Charles de Gaulle. It took me like three hours, 20 minutes to get here from Calais. Fantastic route when there's no traffic. Um, and right now we're gonna be Oh, got a dog there. Um, we're going to be catching up with the guys. The uh, guys are going to have a walk round, get their bearings, um, then have the draw at two o'clock. And uh, yeah, excitement's building. But right now it's 22 degrees here, which was forecast. First sun off, we've all said we've had on our backs on what felt like a really long winter. But so anyway, we'll catch up with the guys and uh, yeah, yeah, let the uh, excitement begin. Although it really began weeks ago, in truth. <laughs> Well, it's approaching three o'clock now, Sunday. I've got my gear around now to La Plage, where I was due to be with Eric. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, he, um, he's got to get his van sorted out, so hopefully he's here Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Um, but yeah, this is a swim I haven't fished before, and uh, here yeah, we'll have a quick skirt round, and then I'll get the gear ready. See, I'm unloading now. It's a beautiful afternoon. Really is lovely. Been putting that boat to good use. And this is my swim for the week with a lot of scope. Dinny and Gary are over there. I think it's Hoggles. I'll get the names of the swims as the week develops. That's the swim they wanted. There's Wayne and Richard opposite me on the point where Dinny and Gary fished last year. I'm full of confidence, sky eye full of confidence, let me tell you. Yeah, so I've got my left, I've got three rods, and when Eric turns up, we're gonna fish two and two, so just four rods in this swim. But anyway, my left hand rod's over in that corner there. I've got my middle rod just out to the right of the bird's nest, just on the edge of that um, 
calm water where it meets the uh, the ripples and I've got this right end rod um, over here so um, yeah got two out with a bait boat two right hand rods this rod I went out to have a little search around because I know there's some snags falling in over there so I was mindful of just where they are and uh, yeah this water's certainly I don't know probably 18 inches up since when I fished it last but anyway this is the scene as I say Sunday evening, lovely warm day today in the 20s. It's cloudy now and mild. And uh, yeah, we've got a mixture, but certainly this is the best weather we've had so far this year, I would say. Darren just messaged me. <laughs> Chub. <laughs> oh well. Nice it. to see a fish all day it long. Is, Beauty. Mate. Was that out of stock pond, John? <laughs> Probably, yeah. 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 Um, it's a bit, little, little bit little though. But... Yeah, first fish of the trip then. Well done. Round in Redwood. Yeah, everybody says Redwood like that. Funny, just Andy Redwood like <laughs> yeah. like, like, like we're the Dutch like swim. <laughs> yeah, you know it was surprising. Yeah. Fish come out of here. yeah, it's the first fish out of here in 11 years. <laughs> well, something. I'm the biggest. I won the match just on that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's mid afternoon Tuesday, and like I say, I'm doing these videos. I just hope it don't turn out to be a camping one. But you know what? Confidence is sky high. It's overcast, it's gone a bit flat now. We had a lot of wind earlier. Um, you know, no rain due, but as I say, a lot of cloud. And it just feels mad for it. And uh, one of the lads had a 30 pounder in the night. So there's been two fish caught, that and the six pounder. But it's sort of playful. You just feel it's gonna switch on. If it don't switch on this week, whoever gets here when it switches on is gonna have it off. You just feel that temperature is, you know, maybe that rain put them down a bit yesterday. I don't know. You start making things up in your head while you're blanking. And uh, it's a whole different story when you're catching. But right now, it, um, yeah, it does feel really good. So as I pan around now, this is my right hand rod. And this is the, uh, there's my swim over there. There's my margin, my left hand margin. There's Wayne and Rich over there. Dinny and Gary over there and um, yeah there's some weed out here as you can see maybe without the polarizing filter I don't know if you can see it I just want to be on the edge of it that's where I want to be over there these down scan imaging you can see shows the weed so clearly and then it starts to peter out and that's where I want to be that spot there I'm going to go back over it that's where I want to be that's actually weed there well, I've just gone four o'clock now, Tuesday afternoon, rebaited. And you know that old phrase, sit on your hands. <laughs> I do struggle to sit on my hands. Eric sits on his hands. Um, and unfortunately, Eric can't make it here. He's had a problem with his vehicle. Just can't get it fixed in time, which is such a shame. So Eric, gonna miss you, mate. Got all this food I was gonna cook for you this week and uh, I'm gonna have to eat it all myself. So, uh, yeah. Uh, buddy, um, probably catch up with you the weekend when you're off to Marpesh. So hopefully you can make that. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, as I say, regrouped and uh, yeah, right now, I say confidence is really good. Just need the bloody fish. I'm claiming squirrels rights. Hello, mate. You're you right. got the food and you got the music. Yeah, we're all going. Super yeah, this music for you. Can so. smell it up there. As I'm walking towards you, yeah, lovely, Dal. How are you getting on, mate? Yeah, super, yeah. Thanks for inviting me over no, for you're dinner. you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, Anytime. I've dressed to Tomorrow impress, right yeah. as requested. Yeah, so what's been happening? You seen any? Nothing, mate. It's looking so good for it, isn't it? It's yeah. just, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, to be honest with you. And do you know, I'll start worrying that next week, when it's all warm here, yeah, exactly that, you that. know, it's we're a week early. Yeah. Yeah, get yeah. paranoid, really. The thing is, everyone says it, but your week take your chances. Yeah, of course, so. exactly. That is what it is. Yeah. yeah. We've waited two years to come here, believe it or not. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah, so, we what, certainly have. What can you do? What can yeah. you do? So, what swim's this, Dal? I knew he was going to ask me that. What's this it called? is Hoggles. Right. 
Yeah, that looks familiar. Bollocks, innit? <laughs> yeah. Eight thirty Wednesday evening. Had a lovely dinner with Darren. Thanks, Dal. And right now, the nighttime bite awaits. And boy, do I need one. Well, let's get this back when it's about fifty pounds. Because look at that. There's about six pound if I'm lucky. There's my end. Well, it's nearly lunchtime Thursday, and I've just wound in to go to the shower and sort myself out. And the boys round in the stumps have had a 51. So, uh, yeah, come around to capture that on the camera. Yeah, well done, boys. Yeah, nice result. Yeah. Yeah, doing all right, aren't you? You saved hey, this lad. video so far from We've a camping one. lost one last one. night. Have you? Yeah. A, have you had any? Nothing yet. Nothing yet, yeah. Nothing yet. Yeah, cool, what, over the back there? Yeah, on the tree line. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, superb. He's shitting out boily. How's he shitting out there? Well, that was a nice result, wasn't it? So tell us about your session so far then. Uh, it's been all going, very all going. Uh, we had one on the second night, I think it was. The second morning. Uh, lost one yesterday due to a snag across there. Uh, retrieved everything other than the fish. And then woke up to that. 50 pound common, yeah, can't be bad. Well done. And what bait and rigs are you using? Yeah, just keeping it really simple. Long shank with a snowman on. 18 mil uh, manila. Topped off with a 12 mil Envutri pineapple and butric acid. So, Any other secrets you need to tell the camera that I can edit out if necessary? No, there's no, no other secrets here. Right. Putting in a bit of hemp. <laughs> That's my secret. My secret <laughs> hemp will build up itself. Yeah, yeah, no, well done. Yeah, great fishing here yeah, on that tree line there. Yeah, superb. I'll tell you all my secrets at the end of the week. All right, yeah, do that. And then I'll knit them into the video. Well, I get all the secrets when I turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice fish that. We want to see a few more of them on the bank. As I say, I had that common that looked like a dace. In fact, I think I've caught bigger dace <laughs> early hours. But to see that one, 51 pounds, super fish. He's doing well. Yeah, but you know, typically no bites to the guy on the left. And uh, he's had, I think, three bites now on the right. So, um, yeah, that's, yeah, nice fish to see that. Superb, well done. Well, in way of an update, it's half past ten Friday morning. Um, promises to be a lovely day, but um, about five o'clock this morning, I lost a fish on my right hand rod. I had a drop back. I'm fishing over what is, you know, a, a weed bed from last year that sort of decayed. And uh, yeah, the fish got in that, it sort of dropped back towards me into that. And uh, yeah, went solid, got over the top of it, and uh, yeah, stuck me hook in the weed. I'm absolutely gutted because I don't care how big that fish was, I don't know how big it was. Obviously, I needed that fish desperately. And I ended up spending, well, I got up at half past nine when the jets went over because I spent the next couple of hours, I just couldn't sleep. I was so pissed off. But anyway, and so I got the drop back, the whole idea was I'm thinking I'm fishing over the weed, I get the bite, the fish will run away from the weed. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a bee. So um, anyway, that's fishing, but yeah, disappointing. Um, and from what I can make out around the lake, I think it's been again a very quiet night. I'll catch up with the boys in a little while. I know one of the guys had a 19 pounder. Um, but um, yeah, was, I know it was quite for Dinny and Gary and Colin and Richard opposite me. So um, yeah, as I say, still got two nights to go, but right now, yeah, boy, did I need that fish.
Yeah, well done. See, even without my video, I've got a camera in. There's no escaping. Box. You're in a box. Oh, the He's going to put his chest is on so he can go out round that tree. Because he reckons I'm only five foot. He's not two inches bigger than me, that's for sure. <laughs> in a box. In a Fish is going to the right. Why don't you give the rod to one of them boys and get them waders? How can the fucking get on that tree there? Go on, get on it. Get on it. Have you got one? Oh. Yeah. Right. Fuck me, they'll come up to your neck then. Oh, be careful there, Ian. What's that line on that tree, Ian? Just fucking go out. You can always dry out in that luxury van of yours. Come on. Right <laughs> 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 he stuck them on here, <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah. This is a team effort, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe you put them on. I thought you tried to get them on and just grab Rod in front. Yeah. 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 yeah it feels a good fish. Yeah, a couple of nice ones down there. You want to get beyond that tree? It's only about a foot deep. You'll be yeah. alright. I know. I'm not bothered if these get wet. Yeah, good angling there, Ian. Well done. You're all right. You can go out a few more feet yet. <laughs> You've got to go out there, Dave. Land it for him. <laughs> cool. I was bother with them. I've just gone swimming here. Yeah. Be careful there, Ian. Yeah, yeah, good angling. Well done. Ian caught it, hooked it over there. Come all the way around the tree, and there he is now. Yeah, good angle. Yeah, well done. Nice. Onto the jetty. Happy days. Yeah, great bit of angling, well done. <laughs> Not me on the fish. Oh, you're, my, you're a good looking guy, you. Nice, yeah. Bobby, Bobby Joe. Joe. Bobby Joe. Amazing. Come on, mate, see how you are. Come on. Get out of the way, Dave. Come on. 
Get it in. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Third time. Got it now. The last three times we've been fishing, I've caught that. her. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh, fucking hell. She's looking good. Look at that. She can have a rest after 92. that. I don't know. I don't think it's going to do 90. The last three times yeah. Oh, yeah, I caught her in November, April and April. Well, that's serious. I've only been here 15 minutes. Yeah. He's had a bite. He's had one earlier. He's put a kettle on. That's gone off. He's had Barbie Joe. That's the third time he's had it. Unbelievable. Just letting her rest up in the uh, in the net, and uh, yeah, the lens is all smeared up and stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, major result. Fantastic. Look at the size of that. That's got to be. Oh, God. Quick bet you on the rig. Show us that rig before you do anything else. <laughs> yeah, superb. Look at that. Ian's took off his bike. Give us that fucking bike then. Not surprised with that. That's down. Eighty five and a half ish. Yeah, go well down. Yeah, I'm not on a photo with it. Match up. Yeah, I'll take a photo on the mat. I'm not on a I've dug in the water with it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll have a photo of it and I'll, I'll call it, all right? Because I'm happy to tell you. I, I don't want to stress her out because yeah. I've had her at bigger. I'll yeah, no, go on. I know I've got a thorn in my boot. Let me, I'll take a photo. Amazing. I'll well have a quick you. one in the water. Yeah. You'll take everything in, alright? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just give her a bit of. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. I just want to put that on there. Yeah, look at that. It's nice to get some daytime pictures with it. Yeah? Superb. Yeah, well done. Very good. Yeah? Well done, yeah. She'll start getting caught again, yeah. won't she? You can zoom in on them, please, if you want. Off. Well done. Well in, you must be well proud of that. Third time as well. Yeah. Third time in four yeah. four trips. Yeah. Now two things, forget all the nice it is, cup of tea and show me that boiler you took off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well I've gone through this map before when I've been on here. That's where I am. There, that's where I've set the drone up. But I think I've managed to cover this area here. Um, Denny and Gary are in here. Got all this water. There's Wayne and Richard opposite me. Darren is here. And then, yeah, we're all pretty spread out. Peg six is doing well. Uh, no, peg eight. Peg eight's doing well. And. Uh, as is peg 10. The rest of us, we're all struggling. Justin's here behind me. He's had a couple now, lost a couple. My landing net thinks it's in the close season. Well, I've gone up for a shower, mid-morning Saturday, thinking I'll have a ride around the lake. 
with the bike, catch up with everyone, go and have lunch with Dinny and Gal, and uh, chill out for the afternoon. Only to find that Dan in Climbing Tree uh, and Darren have to go home, um, which means Climbing Tree's free. Um, so I'm going to go around there with two rods, do the night under the stars, we're not due any rain. So right now, I've come back to the swim, I'm packing up as quickly as I can, I'm going to go around there, get my gear out, chill out, and then fish. It's mainly been fishing at night, but you know, fish through from tea time till tomorrow morning, and then I'll be able to pack up quickly, because I won't, won't have a lot of tackle, and then I'll be off. But uh, yeah, just shows you how things change, and you know, whilst I'm not one entirely for swim jumping, fuck it, I don't care, I want to go and catch a fish. Well, about two and a half hours, since I decided to move around here, I'm around here. Took me about an hour and a half to pack up, and uh, yeah, all I'm gonna do is fish two rods, just out here. The um, the boys in the, uh, Richard and his brother, to the left, the brother's move ain't caught all week. Um, he's moving into Peg, I think it's eight, which is um, between me and Stumps. Uh, it's not normally fished, but I think he's um, fishing the bush which is fair enough, so I'm going to be fishing a spot out in front of me and one down in the right hand margin. So we'll have a quick look and say it's a great swim, but more importantly, these fish are still in the snags until that weed's up. The fish weren't really in open water, I don't think so anyway. And uh, so, you know, Dinny said round in front of them, the fish were on the far margin under the trees, just sunning themselves and stuff. Anyway, I'm here, I'm confident, got one night to go, a lot of effort, but you know what they say? Effort equals sometimes a reward, I'm not sure, but you know what, I'm feeling confident, so I'm just going to have a cup of tea now, have a quick skirt round, this is the swim, familiar to me, you guys have seen the videos before, there's the guys fishing down there, as I say, that's Stumps, um, the brother's moving down to my left, there's the snag tree where Dan has caught a few fish this week over there which he's going to be fishing and I'm going to be fishing down here you can see a tree's come down here so you've got to be careful in terms of where you fish and uh, yeah just two rods for the night so that's where I've been fishing all week the plage and I've drove round around the lake here and I'm now in climbing tree here brother's moving in now and Richard's been fishing there all week and done very well. Yeah, so there's the rod, and there's a tree coming over there, and I'm just short of that corner there by about four foot, I would say, from that snag. Yeah, I'm just having that cup of tea moment and uh, reflecting that three hours ago I'd wound in, I'd had a shower and I was going around catching up with the boys and, you know, having a sociable afternoon, you know, going back to the swim, you know, liking to feel I was confident, but, you know, for the last night on my back foot, no question of that, I'm now in a new swim, hyped up like you can't believe, you know, with less than, you know, 24 hours, what have I got, 18 hours or whatever, but yeah, I'm like a coiled spring, and uh, yeah, really feel I'm in the right spot now. So yeah, thanks to Dan, who unfortunately had to go, Mark McCard, you know, that he was going, got in here, and as I say, yeah, it's confidence sky eye. All about being on the fish, and the fish are here, no question of that. Well, you know what, that was a ball buster. I packed up this morning, it's about half past nine, making tracks now, and uh, yeah, I had one rod out there and uh, didn't hear anything, slept under the stars. It's been a tough session to be truthful. Can't dress it up any other way, <laughs> it's been tough. And I'll be glad to get home. So uh, yeah, let's skirt about now. And uh, I'll save the, I guess, brief synopsis for when I get back. So uh, yeah, let's make tracks.
Well, guys, it's Thursday, 17th May 2018, and I'm off to Rainbow tomorrow for two weeks. Um, but before we start that, I've got to rewind a bit because, in way of an update, and people have been asking where have my videos been, I ain't uploaded the last two trips because they've been camping trips. I, um, I went in February um, fishing in Spain for the barbel and a spectacular a trip as that was uh, we had two barbel between us didn't get the third bite so I didn't get one um, so we put that down to experience and I uh, went with um, Raul and Tono um, Gary and Clay so that never really saw the light of day um, then in April um, Darren Buck um, hosted a charity match at Labby and do you know what when i got there it felt like france was three or four, four weeks behind with the weather i know we always look for excuses when it comes to blanking i had one common um i've caught bigger dace uh, and i lost one um, a couple of the lads done well um and we had a great trip there were 16 anglers great bunch of boys really enjoyed it um so after this synopsis i'll i think i'll bolt on it to a five minute six minute video of the labby trip um because as i say there were some nice fish caught and it'd be nice to feature it but not enough fish to uh you know warrant a video of its own after that i joined a local syndicate in chelmsford thanks to ben cruz a lovely little water about two and a half acres i've had a couple of 20 pounders out there done three afternoon evenings caught uh twice uh, blanked once but beautiful fish so Ben thanks for um, allowing me to join there and as I say I've been planning to kick start my English fishing I joined you know a Canterbury based water last year it was too hard for me the big lake down there and it was too far 90 miles there 90 miles back the tunnel the bridge bloody nightmare so that's a brief synopsis of what's happened the last couple of months now I'm going to Rainbow with Lee, I fished with Lee last year. I don't follow football, but I follow football more the last two weeks than I've done in 56 years. The long and short of it is, is that I'm fishing with Lee the first week, he can't make the second week, so I'm fishing with a mate of mine the second week. We're on the island, um, Max and Jasper are in one and two, there'll no doubt be a few boys I know when I get there, and right now, having had what felt like a couple of camping trips, I'm really up for catching some fish. So bear with me, enjoy the adventure, 
and hopefully guys i'm uploading this video because third time lucky um it's not a camping trip and it turns out to be a fishing trip i've got my drone you know got a few other new bits and bobs that always make us that little bit more confident that cost you a fortune that never make any difference but psychologically you tell you tell yourself they do because you've spent a fortune so um yeah we'll get them out of the tackle box during the next couple of weeks and uh as i say look forward to uh, documenting it for now early night um and off in the morning normal trip on the train um and staying north of bordeaux friday night arriving at rainbow mid-morning saturday well we're running an hour late in fact more friday morning down here at euro tunnel and i've said it before on these videos you're fucking useless euro tunnel we all make mistakes and there's problems we all know that delays and shit but at least tell us what the fuck is going on. That's all I want to say. Well, ten, just before 10 o'clock Saturday morning, I've just bumped into a couple of lads on their way out. Um, I don't think they was Dutch, Belgium maybe, not sure. Um, and they were saying 21, Arjun was in 21 with Bain. How are you, Bain? You still nuts? Yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> Look forward to catching up with you boys. Um, and um, the island, I think, uh, by the sound of things, produced most of the fish last week. And particularly, uh, they were saying the left-hand side of the island, which is where I guess uh, Lee will be. Um, and 21, again, as normal. I think where Arge was at the front, again, going up the back. But either way, there seemed to be fish all round. Um, but that was where the bulk of the fish are. Right now, I always say it, that I've got two weeks this trip so i've been looking forward to this and uh, as i mentioned earlier in the video my last two trips have been more camping holidays than fishing so uh, yeah let's see if we can uh, we can change that do you know what? i've said it loads of times as you're driving down the track having come off the road and uh done that little video at the side and this track you have to be careful how you come down it but you find yourself going faster than you should because of the excitement of getting to the lake. And you know what, as well, I play these videos back and I think, oh, sometimes it's, you know, it's quite often the same routine. But I don't know how else to capture the excitement and atmosphere of just uh, turning up here. Look, I've arrived now at the gate. And uh, yeah, for people who know, and you know, it's not the only lake that I have the excitement at, but there's something about rainbow, the smell. When I open this door, the smell, the lake ahead of you, the sign, the clubhouse, everything just grabs you by the bollocks. I can't think of a better phrase to sum it up. Look, there's a sign over there. There's the gate and there's the lake. Let's open the gate and get in. Morning, Come and say hello. Good to see you, Max. Right. Yeah, right. good to see you. Jasper, good, good to see you too good as morning. well, yeah? Yeah, nice timing. Yeah? yeah, got it all to look yeah. forward to this week. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. So I'll leave you to. I'll catch up with you as the week progresses. We'll have a quick look round. You fished here before, you boys? Not even no. I never fished this swim. Before, right, so it's a bit of an adventure. Right, yeah. And the fish have been mainly around the woodwork. Is that right? In the island and twenty-one. So, yeah. All the back and all the all yeah. snags and yeah. Because yeah, I'm putting Lee on the right. Yeah, that's that's yeah, the way to that's do it. That's fair to do, isn't it? Because eh? well, <laughs> he wants to run the competition again this 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 week. Oh, with you? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And I've said it's a bit of a bit unfair. The island gets one. You know I mean? Yeah, but you could turn it round, Max. Yeah. I, said to him, I think we should make it for the biggest bream, level the playing field a bit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But he wasn't having none of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He reckons all the eighty pounders are all stacked up out here for me. And there's been some big fish out last week, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's that when you come here, you're hoping they ain't been out, really, yeah, aren't you? There's a few. But they have, and they well, there's still plenty here. I reckon I can get out to the boundary of 21, you know what I mean, and the old miscast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know what to do, Max. You've been doing it for years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I told Arjun and all, you know what I mean? But trouble is, he was asleep, so I was not, didn't want to wake him. And I see him flying along 100 kilometres an hour as I approached here, yeah. picking his nose, so he didn't see me. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. all right, so I'll leave you to it, boys. Yeah. I'll have a quick look in the swim and I'll get off. All right, mate. So, Jasper, Max and Jasper are in one and two. They'll probably fish it together from here. But this is the scene now, say, mid-morning Saturday. And it's fair to say that, uh, yeah, the bulk of the fish last week certainly come from our swim and, uh, and peg 21. Well, it's half past four now, Saturday. 
I've got two rods out, the third one's going out now and uh, as I was saying earlier, I've got one over in the channel, one to the right of that this third one's going out um, closer um, and the fourth, one, the fourth one's going behind me so to speak but um, yeah beautiful day and <clears throat> it's breezy and uh, you know what we're in a good swim this and 21 uh, fished best last week and yeah pressure's always on when that happens got plenty of time to look at rigs but what have you got on you usually yeah, it's just my usual little snowman. Yeah, and that weight to drop it into the mouth, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Quality. It's yeah, nice to be here. I think it was it's a year ago, wasn't it? We was in uh, 21, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. this time, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, another good swim. We've got to make the most of it now, Lee. Yeah. yeah, you've got a week, I've got two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah make it happen. Lucky. lucky man, isn't you? Yeah, very lucky. It's it, nice to be here. everyone you're, you're encroaching again in this. We had, no, thought, we honestly. We had rods out yet. I just, <laughs> no. I've said to Lee, he, he started on me straight away when I baited up, but I've been in therapy. I went to the Betty Ford Clinic, <laughs> and I'm a reformed man. So where last year, all right, I might have swung the lead, for want of a better pun. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I won't do it this year, Lee. No, no, you know me better than that no, now. Okay. Yeah, spent a lot of money getting better. <laughs> yeah, that stroke pulling weren't me, really. <laughs> I'm looking at our setup. It's like Steptoe's yard here compared with Max. What was that? Yeah, in, uh, compared with their setup over there. Yeah, we'll see that in the week. Yeah, Jasper and him, it's like an executive home over there. And uh, yeah, we're a scrapyard. No wonder you got a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Never blames yeah. his tools. That's all we've got, Kevin. Yeah, limbo dancing. It, you know? Yeah, no, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's half past five Sunday morning and uh, first bite, I've got a nice common, about 45 pound I think, and I think I might have had it before, not the prettiest of fish, which is why I recognised it on this second from left rod. So uh, yeah, let's get it out and uh, yeah, see what we got. Yeah, well pleased. 52 and a half, about half past five Sunday morning, first bite. Well chuffed with this, and I think I've seen this before. I think I've seen it bigger. I think I was with Arge when he had this fish. But it looks like it's well spawned out. Can you see that, Lee? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely lost, done a bit of weight. Right. Not the prettiest, but most welcome. Yeah. Well done, Kev. All right, yeah. All right. Well pleased with that. Happy days. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. Good time, I'm having a ball Don't stop me now 
Four and a quarter. Well, Andy, yeah, superb. Was it about nine o'clock? Yeah. Sunday morning. Off the Coleman tree, Cap. Yeah, lovely. Well done. Didn't make the lamp. Oh, that's a nice start for breakfast, isn't it? Yeah. See? Uh, cut the fifties. That goes out. Yeah, cut the fifties. Now, big fried breakfast to celebrate, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah, get it on, Cap. <laughs> Well, setting the scene now for Sunday morning. Lee's just put back that common. It's a great start for both of us. Mitchell and his mate, I think they had a couple in the 1921. We heard some buzzers. Well, it's going to be a glorious day. So, yeah, great start. Well chuffed. Curves on his way. At the back there. 20 to 1, Sunday afternoon. Sunday, just had a sandwich and it tore off and I've had a 51 and a half. Beautiful fish this time. So yeah, well chuffed. Super Kev. There we go, 51 and a half. 51 and a half. Well chuffed with that. Lunchtime Sunday. Second bite, second fish. Well pleased. Two fifties. Recording? Yeah. There we go. 51 and a half. Get a gun pack. Over the top of her knee. Oh, I'll tell you what, Lee. I, um, where the indicator was so close to the top, I only had the one bleep. And uh, yeah, good job I was right on top of the rod. Yeah, because I probably wouldn't have registered. I've got up the sensitivity, I think, a bit. Okay, mate. Yeah, just getting used to them fox alarms. Yeah. So far, so good. Well yeah, done. at least they bleep when you get a bite.
Right, what we're doing here, 7 o'clock Sunday evening, I'm doing dinner. Got the uh, oven. And if you zoom in here, there, you've got tin potatoes cutting off, seasoned, with butter, salt and pepper. The chicken I cooked yesterday. Well, I might have got it actually from the roadside place. And I'm just breaking off the breast meat and that, putting it there. And we're going to heat it in there for about half hour with gravy, beans. Yeah. So I hope he does. Can you reheat chicken, Kev? I don't think yeah. you can. Yeah, no, you can. You sure? Yeah, 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 no, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you can't reheat chicken. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be alright. Well, my wife buys it already cooked. Yeah. In the fridge, and then you have to eat it up. Yeah, that'd be fine, mate. You'll be alright. You sure? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I think I might find a friend. <laughs> I, I yeah. asked someone the question because I'm sure my mum said you can't eat chicken, yeah, but no. we'll see. I'll find a friend. Looking for the wishbone, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Wishbone in here somewhere. What do you mean, okay, we... It's looking good, is it? Or... I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? It's got to be his back door, it's isn't it? Some sort of stuffing. <laughs> Don't smell too good. <laughs> Can't wait to eat this chicken. <laughs> yeah, it's got sprinkling it over the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, he stuffed it with look. Stuffed oh. with um. Oh, that's kidney and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, and seasoning. Look, put some sort of garlic and stuff in the middle of it. Yeah, no, that's all right, mate. You yeah, leave, leave that out. Yeah, leave that bit out. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're on I'm a Celebrity, you know, in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think I'd rather eat some of that stuff in the jungle. <laughs> well, here's a very well angled 4212 for Lee. Early hours of Monday morning. Yeah. Lovely. Scrap well, wasn't it? Yeah, wasn't it just? Yeah, well done, Lee. All yeah, good. well played. Yeah, got it. First light, Monday morning. This is what your second, third one of the night, is it? Yeah. 46 pound. Yeah, superb. Well done, Lee. Well, here we are, Monday morning, sun was coming up and the mist has come, look at that. Yeah, lunchtime Monday, thirty-seven pound. Yeah, it's a nice few fish Lee, early on in the holiday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good going. Yeah. Me back. Yeah. Getting old, you know. Well, that comes with catching fish, Lee. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice though. Yeah. Nice few runs. Yeah, it's a great start. Yeah. Yeah, and it feels good. We're due a storm tonight, aren't we? Yeah, another yeah, one. So that could kick them off as well. But it's quite around a lot of the lake. Us and 21 seem to be getting them. They're yeah. Nothing else. They're in the woodwork, aren't they? Kurt? Yeah, so Max I... and, and Jasper ain't had anything. No, no, they said they're sitting up there in that in the arms of one, but they're just not interested, so right into spawn, I guess. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done, mate. Cool. Right. Have some lunch. Here's Johnny. Yeah, the rain stopped. Lee thought he'd go and rebait. And now, look, he's pissing down. Thank you. 
Super Kev's going out. He's got one on. Like the back stick. Like a pro he is. What's going on here? I don't think the fish is on. Ugh. Yeah, he's on. Line of fucker. That is nice, common. You know what, for people watching this, you might think it's all a bit unconventional, but you know what, it's rainbow. And honestly, I thought I'd cleared the snags from there. And you see what I picked up. Look at that, under the water. Yeah, it's dead, under the water. But I've got the fish in, that's the main thing, well chuffed. 38 pound Monday evening, just after dinner, about nine o'clock. So well chuffed with this on my left hand rod. Bought in a load of snags with it, got it on the glasses, hand lined it in the end. But uh, yeah, well pleased to have landed it. Well, I passed nine Monday, just put that fish back, got the bait back out, <coughs> excuse me, bait back out there again, and uh, yeah, feeling confident. And you know what? So I've had three fish now, um, and you just feel like there's a lot of opportunity to catch some fish this week and next week. Give it on the top. <sighs> Big fish. I don't know it's pulling. Oh, 
Well, there's the fish that give me that merry dance Tuesday morning. Caught on camera, £25. And boy, did I know it. Well pleased. Yeah, it's so setting the scene now, Tuesday morning. So I've had five fish now. I think Lee's had about eight fish, something like that. We'll catch up and see what he's had. Lost straight, he's had a couple in the night, or three in the night, I think, put them back. We've had quite a few small ones. Mouths. Yeah, just saying with Lee um, earlier that we've I've had a bite on all four rods now, and Lee's had a bite on all his rods. So, yeah, you know, it's not a bad thing, but it does seem to be a fair few small ones about. Uh, mouths, you know, that small mirror I had there, that 25, you know, tore asked about. And uh, I'm thinking there's still some fish here, big females yet to spawn. Um, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, right now, yeah, could do with seeing some, uh, some big fish on the bank. <sighs> Rainbow willing, we'll see. Well, there was just a minute silence on the radio for the Manchester bombing. And, uh, crikey, I really do hope there's a heaven. Let me tell you, it makes you think. Yeah, I think Lee landed that one and put it back. So, yeah, probably not a big one. And he's, uh, he's rebated. You can see how he had to jump on that rod and pull it away from the uh, cormorant tree snag. Yeah, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. If I can keep it up away from the snakes here. There's a snake down there. That's it. God, get in. You can see how big that is. Oh. Ah, fucking nearly had it. I've got to keep it away from a snag. Look at the size of that. Fucking hell. It's a big one. Don't want to get in the water. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes, big dog, look at the back on that. That's a good fish. Well chuffed. <sighs> What's the worst? 
think I captured the whole emotion of that. Don't think I need to say anything. It's a nice one, Lee. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, did 50. Good scrap then. Yeah, it was a good scrap. Got it on the glasses, spectacular footage on the glasses. Especially when I missed it for the first time with a net. <laughs> yeah? So by the time I edit it, it should look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, so well pleased. Well done, mate. Yeah, well pleased. And you know what? Like the plan worked. You know what we were talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah? It, um, it worked to a degree. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, well chuffed. Well done, mate. How's that look? Lovely. £49 Tuesday evening. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Quickly get the other side. Well done, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Look all right? Yeah. Oh. Quickly get the other side, let me get it back. Well done, pal. Lovely. Well done, Cap. Yeah, cheers. Oh, I'm well chuffed to have got that fish in. Well chuffed. I've got great footage on the uh, on the glasses. And for people watching that back home, having first seen the glasses footage, they'll realise how shit I am at this game. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Let's have a cup of tea. 43 pound. Nice me, we're very welcome after a lot of small fish. Yeah, superb. Well done, mate. Yeah. Well, it's lunchtime uh, Wednesday. Lee's gone up to have a shower. When he's back, I'll go up and uh, go around and see Max and uh, Jasper and have a bite to eat with them. Um, it was a quiet night. We was expecting more action, given I had that fish last night, the 49. Um, Lee had a 43 and lost one, and it just felt good for the night, but, you know, didn't happen. Don't know what else happened around the lake. We'll find out later, no doubt. But, yeah, right now it must be, I don't know, 80 degrees, certainly high 70s at least. And, uh, yeah, all to play for. Just feel like we should be getting a few more bites right now. So that's the fisherman in us, the tenacity in us, I guess. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, mid-afternoon Wednesday, gone and had a shower, done a bit of office work. I'm going around to Peg 1 and 2 for a barbecue with uh, Jasper and Max. And it's a glorious day. As I say, it must be 80 degrees. So the fishing was slow for most of the lake it transpires um, last night and so far today. But, uh, and there is that sentiment, there's still quite a few fish that haven't spawned. Um, so, uh, but anyway, here's what it is. Let's go and catch up with the boys. Yeah, so the boys are in peg one and two. It's been very quiet for them so far. Really quiet. Any fish Max was saying that they've seen, uh, as you'd expect in the fingers on the right hand side. And uh, yeah, nothing out here, whatever. So um, yeah, and there's a few swims that are quiet. And that's always the case with Rainbow. I think any time of year, regulars here will know, it's probably like any lake. You know, that you fish, you book it a year or two in advance, you don't always get exactly the dates you want. As I was saying on a, earlier in the video, you know, it's like the weather was four weeks behind here in France. So, you know, the spawning's still not out of the way and one thing and another. And, you know, it can make some, some trips tough for some and, you know, purple patch weeks for others. That is how it is. I was just saying on the camera, Max, this is, this is a, t a tough week for this swim, isn't it? Yeah. yeah? yeah you know, there's a few swims that are tough right now, and that's rainbow. It's like a lot of lakes, isn't it? At the moment, to be honest with you, unless you're in 21 or 11, you're struggling. Or the island. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, the island. I mean, I mean, you mean the island, yeah. yeah. I mean, 21 on, on the island. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you kind of, and he's right, like, last week they were the productive pigs from what I can make out. Yeah, yeah it's been like that yeah. for the last couple of weeks, I think. Yeah. Uh, but can all change on a sixpence, boys, as we all know. We're just uh, preparing the fair for, uh, yeah, because I know you don't like to go away hungry. Well, you know. I've got the reputation of being a locust, according to certain well, people. Yeah. I'd have to a say, locust couldn't clear quicker. Your your sense of smell is exemplary. You know, you actually you could smell this going on from a thousand meters. It looks good, and I haven't yeah. eaten all day oh, in no. anticipation. <laughs> Petwood, no, Mark's nothing but the best for yeah, you. No, a bit no, of Marks yeah. and Sparks. Yeah, it's what we want. Petwood burgers, you know what I mean? Yeah, lovely boys. No, no little stuff when you're coming round. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, and Jasper's on the left here. I think the boys in five are having it quiet as well. Superb, guys. Yeah, look at that. Don't get better than that. Jack your potatoes. Cheers, boys. Yeah, Max, show, just show us what you're doing rig-wise and stuff. I was saying earlier, Max, you don't change things much here no. from what I've seen. Yeah? No, I think... Uh, I don't think it's overly riggy, particularly. Um, you just got to make sure that what you're using is tried, tested and strong. That's the main thing. You know, if you think of the strongest hooks and hook link and everything, then take it up a notch. That's yeah. really what you need to But do you find it. when you fish elsewhere, you're always thinking, is it rainbow proof? Because uh, if it's rainbow proof, then it's going to, you know, it's indestructible here. I think but, rainbow proof is like two levels above most what you do in any extreme situation anywhere else. I mean, it's, it is, this is, well, you know, Kev, this yeah. is, this is, yeah, it's about as well extreme as it gets. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You take even casein, salagu, any of them. Got yeah, a patch on this. yeah, yeah, no, it's fair call. Cool. Yeah, so show us what you're doing, Max. Right. That's neat, Max. That um, uh, Rich Monkey hanging off the pole thing. Yeah, it's a little action station. It's just a. Yeah, yeah, it yeah just, it's good. You know what I mean? Just keeps everything. Yeah. All my bits for baiting up, spare rigs, all baited up, all ready to go in bags. Um, I've never seen that before. Look at that in a little bag. Amazing. Right, so show us the rig then. Yeah, it's, 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 again, you know, it's very straightforward. This is a, yeah, it's a, a very strong curved hook. Um, on a snowman, on a little, on a little blowback. Probably the the main thing that's different is I'm using using our 50 pound lead free, um, which most people consider as a leader, but I, that's what I use as hook links. Um, the main reason being that because you can splice it, everything's really smooth. You know, yeah. everything's sort of totally smooth. And like Lee then, because Lee's no, tying lots. a rig, yeah, and he's keeping the rig and just changing the hook when That's he needs it, yeah. to. Yeah, so yeah. again, all you need to do on this one is literally you would slide it back, and you just slide the, the tubing off, get back off there, and then take that off, and then you just take yeah, that like off. Yeah, like a multi rig yeah, type but, thing. But yeah. so look, because there's no knot. That's actually look. That's just a splice. Yeah. And what leading material is this? That's the new Ridge Monkey, the uh, the lead-free leader. Oh right, it's actually yeah. you know for you know for your main leaders. Yeah. Um, but you know splices, fifty odd pound. Nice thing is it sinks like a brick though, you know, so you haven't got to worry about anything, you know, your your rig sticking up or um, anything like that. So it's ever so easy. Yeah, you know, just yeah. pull that back. Yeah. That's not what most people do there. Just to help drop that, yeah, drop that in the bottom. Which lip. I first saw personally here mm. with Andy pointing. I've said it on video before, <coughs> some I don't know five years ago, yeah. or whatever. And I, I still haven't used it myself. No. But you and you, Jasper. Yeah, I, yeah? Use, I use the same. Uh, just simple snowman uh, on a multi rig um, on, on on the new uh, leader material. Uh, yeah. Testing out some, yeah, some new things. I the only different I do on the moment is Max is using putty here, and I had a uh, tungsten bead on him. Yeah. But the 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 rest is in fact it's it's the same, and it's it's simple to use, quite um, quick to to change your hooks, and especially when you catch fish, then it's nice to. Um, 
to get uh, back in action very quick. The kids, What's going on here? The kids are just yeah. coming up. That's, our, that's, our, that's, our, that's, our, that's the kids. Yeah, you're, we're somewhere all the weather's really nice like this. Um, take yeah, that's a good bit of kit. That's clever. Compact yeah. as well. Yeah, so that all folds up all into folds itself. Up into like, it's about the size of a diary. Right, yeah. And then you're just putting in what charger you need into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you've got in, inside here. You can see inside it's got two USB outs. So you can plug in anything you like. Oh, you can yeah, plug that in. is good. He's got his yeah. phone around there charging at the moment. But yeah. You can charge the power packs off of them. Yeah, and are you getting on with Orcs? Are you developing a Continental Orc with them? Yeah, there's, yeah. I can't, I can't really say too much on, on film, you know what I mean? No, but, yeah. but what can we say on film? Um... There's a decent range of hooks coming out. Yeah, well, they've already got a, a nice range, yeah, more yeah. normal day-to-day -day fishing. Yeah, yeah, we're just expanding it now, and we're going to certainly take um, take a bit more notice of some of the continental needs, because a lot of the continental hooks are still a little bit dark ages. Um, so, yeah, there's some. We're, we're taking the continental, some continental hooks up to the, the level of what you know the top, what I class the hooks you know, use for your domestic fishing. Um... Yeah, so they'll be, let's kind of watch this space. Oh, right, okay. Oh, all yeah, look careless, forward to that. All that careless talking at the moment, but, No, yeah. well, right, no, I won't say no more. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Won't push you on that. You'll be getting a few tests. Yeah, I'll have a look at them. In the near future. Yeah, cool. All right, well, boys, thanks again for a wonderful barbecue. Yeah, hope you get amongst some fish. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you do yeah. one or two between you now, and yeah, but it's a tough swim this right now, yeah, but it can all change on a sixpence. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. so um, isn't it? not catching. Yeah, and I'll um I'll pop around with a cup of tea tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, okay, mate. just yeah. admiring again before I left. Just how tidy, you know. To their credit, you know, toilet tent there. Look how immaculate everything is. Full credit to them. What's that, Max? That's um. Yeah, the air dry buckets. Uh, I mean, I've got you know a bag here. You know, trouble with these, they get done by the uh, koi by the koi pews yeah. and the bag. So this Bloody is like nightmare. A, a bit like the old system, but this one's got like a. Like a oh, that's clever. Like the middle, so you get airflow all the way round. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's a boily drying box yeah, as opposed to a yeah, yeah. boily drying bag. Yeah, you can take them out. You know, this all. I have to on. Yeah, there you go. So it just yeah, good idea. air dries everything. Yeah. One here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, good and idea. It, and it's fairly animal proof. So yeah. you know. Yeah, crikey. Max, here we were reminiscing from our very early days. Yeah. And there we're looking at a boily drying box, let yeah. alone anything else. Yeah. Yeah. And fishing for 70 and 80 pounders. We was chewing the cud back there. Yeah, we were we just, yeah, lunch. we just, I was just saying, we made some, you know, talking about before Jasper was born, even. That's all right. And, isn't uh, it? Yeah. yeah, you know, you, Jasper yeah. weren't even born, was giving away mine and Max's age. And, uh, yeah, we're sitting down there, and, you know, old Jasper is thinking that these old codgers here going back all that time. Weren't quite split cane rod times, but yeah. certainly a long while back. But um, anyway, we're going to skirt about, I've got things to do, and uh, yeah, go and work off this lunch now, burn some calories. Well, on my way back, I'm just popping into 21, where uh, Mitchell and his mate are fishing. They've had quite a lot of fish between them this week, having taken over from Arjun and Arjun's uh, Bane last week, who really caught you know a lot of fish, including some big ones. So I think they've caught a lot of smaller ones this week. But uh, yeah, familiar swim this, I do like it here. I've got this on camera before. Yeah. Yeah, nice, uh, nice swim. Fond memories of being in here. A few times I've had the good fortune of being 21. But you know what? It's one hot swim when it's like this because there is no shade. But small price to pay. Great swim to be in. Well, I didn't realise, well, this just shows you, I've never seen the water like this, just shows you how. Oh, I don't like getting my feet wet. This is life, Gav. Look at you, crazy Dutch guys. <laughs> crazy, yes. Yeah. Good to see you, Mitchell. Good to see you, man. Just done your air, have you, because I'm coming round. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Tell us what you've been up to. Who, who are you fishing with? With uh, Benny, for Gastel. Oh, yes. Also yeah, cool. Dutch guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. now you're getting on. 
Yeah, he's a good, uh, good friend of mine. Yeah. And we catch now uh, 30 fish, Kev. Wow, yeah, yeah, a lot of fish. Yeah, a lot well, of I fish. I see you going up the back there yeah, quite a, a lot, lot of huh? times, eh? Yeah. yeah. But the biggest one was 24 kilo. Right. But, uh, yeah. We have you been catching a lot of mouths, small mouths, have you noticed? No, no, no. No? no. Right, yeah, because... Uh, I think it's ducks, is it? I uh, think a, f duck, yeah, a yeah. few of the smaller fish that we've been catching, the males, okay. they're, they're all scratched and things where they've been chasing and spawning and oh, stuff. Oh, we, we not. No. Yeah, and what about the, fi uh, the fish carrying eggs or they got rid of the spawn, the bigger fish? Oh, no, uh, yeah, some fish. Yeah, we see yesterday here, one fish have it, but uh, not so many. Well, OK, yeah, cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, you're doing well. Yeah. yeah, good for you, boys. Are you getting anything on the left down here? Uh, two fish on the left. Right, yeah. Yeah, All yeah, there. yeah. But I think last week it was mainly up there yeah, as well, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. it's not the good week, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He normally does, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Arjun. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, good to see you boys then. Yeah, and I'll catch you tomorrow because I um I'm going up the clubhouse tomorrow, so I'll come round okay. and say hello tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this All is right. good, Kev. Yeah. Cool. It's good. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Has he fell? Has he fish here before? Hi. How are you doing? Looks like they both, that's the Dutch vanity, they've both had a shower and shave and done their hair because I'm coming round with a camera. That's what they do. Look. Like a boy band. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, good fishing then, boys. Yeah, you're doing well. Yeah. yeah. You are doing well. Well, it's slow today, yeah? Yeah. And for us, last night we have uh, uh, Lee have two bites together. Yeah. Then I have a bite, three bites. We're thinking, ah, oh, catch many fish. Then nothing else the rest of the night. Yeah. yeah. The rest of the lake also. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Was yeah. Round two, you uh, got the takes. Uh, pardon? Around two. Uh, no, before then, about nine o'clock. Uh, about eight, nine o'clock last night. Okay. We have three bites very quickly. Okay. I then, got one on uh, half past one. And uh, I saw your uh, I saw your light. Oh, uh, what this morning? No, in the night. Oh, in the night. I can't remember then. Okay. Yeah, I certainly didn't have a fish. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I need a torch to find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll okay. See you tomorrow, all right, guys. Okay. Bye. Do you know what? I've ate so much. I've got to have a sleep now. Work it off. <laughs> Give you the glasses, Lee. Right. Give you the glasses. Oh, fucking loud, man. Okay. <laughs> Lee, Lee, Lee's gone in the tree for about the eighth time. That one now. Go on, Lee, go get it. Oh, so I had to have a kip. I had a kip for about an hour. Only about half oh, past six, was it seven o'clock, I think. Whack me out eating all that food. Well, 8.30 Thursday morning, had a real good night's kip. Loads of dreaming. Said to Lee, if I'd have taken LSD, I would have had weirder dreams. Dreamt about oh, all manner of things, I don't know, weird. Um, and then I had a bite this morning, having lost one last night, um, and I've got what I think is a mid 40 in the net. So, uh, yeah, well chuffed and a nice wake up call. So, let's get it weighed. Pull that. Yep. <laughs> Forty-eight and a half. half. Forty-eight and a quarter. Yeah. Forty-eight and a quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here we are. Thursday morning. Forty-eight and a quarter. Well done, mate. Scrapper, wasn't it? Yeah, right, scrapper. Yeah, lucky to get this in. Forty-eight and a quarter. Well Nice one, Lee. Well, tell you what, I needed that fish, really did. And uh, certainly, do you know the funny thing, Lee, when we fish, right? 
when it's hot we want it some cool weather if it's slow if it's cold we want some hot weather if it's slow and yesterday it was hot wasn't it so we said oh it'd be nice to have a bit of a breeze and cooler weather and this is what we got now if we have this for a day or two and we don't catch any more we'll want hot weather <laughs> does that make sense yeah. it's a bit like racing my colleague racing the horse oh the horse like soft ground it gets soft ground don't win oh, it prefers hard ground gets hard ground don't win yeah don't run then don't run <laughs> Yeah, something like that, I think I'm trying to say. I can't work it out. We're never happy, basically. No, guys. never happy. Well, I'm happy now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a cup of tea. Well done, mate. Happy days. Well, I've rebated both rods now, Thursday morning. Um, and then when this rain clears, which it's due to in the next hour or so, my app's been really accurate, got to say. Um, now I've cursed it. <laughs> um, then I'm going to um, yeah, go up, have a shower, sort some bits out. It's Big Fish Thursday, as they say. It's also work day Thursday for me. So, uh, yeah, get some things sorted and, uh, yeah, then get back. But, yeah, pleased to have caught that one this morning. And, uh, yeah, it's gone a bit quiet for Lee, but he's had a couple of bites, lost them. Uh, now we need to be converting them, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, now, as I say, this cooler weather might be what we need to kickstart these fish because it has been, for rainbow standards, you know, quite slow this week, so um, yeah, we'll see. No sooner we're not caught for 24 hours, we'll be thinking we need the sun, just like I alluded to earlier. We'll see. Suddenly, <laughs> so, so I cook you dinner. Yeah, now they yeah. wash it in the oven. Yeah, you see, like, well done. Yeah. I turned it over and all. No, you couldn't have. Yeah, I did. Turn it over where? <laughs> well, that tastes nice, that. That looks absolutely horrendous. Look, it's stuck to the bottom. Scrape it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, scrape it, that's the best bit, all the burn bits. No, no, you're right. We've got the most taste. Kev? Super Kev. <laughs> I can't wait for you yeah, to do I didn't me. think I could mess it up, but I obviously did. You only had to watch it in the oven. I've just been bit by a mozzie as well, just to top me off. <laughs> well, Lee's having his dinner. I've just had mine a little bit earlier. He's putting some gear in the van. I've got some apple pie, you don't eat apple pie, so I've got all this to myself, look at that. Well, Lee and I had a bite there, similar times, about half past eight, just gone. And uh, turns out Lee's is a 50 pounder, mine was about 15, maybe near a five. So mine's gone straight back, and uh, we're going to get Lee's out now. Oh, 50. 51, 51, 51. Four? Yeah, no, yeah. 51. 50, yeah, nice one. Bigger. Yeah, yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, lovely. Well done, mate. Happy days. Yeah, here we are, sunset, Thursday night. Well done. There we go, 51 pound Thursday evening. Yeah, look at the ump on that back there, Lee. Yeah, superb. Yeah, well done, mate. Cheers, yeah, cracking fish. Yeah. Well, Lee, that was welcome, wasn't it? Been quiet for like my first bite all of the day. day. Yeah, it's my first bite of the day. Kev. Yeah, and you, just, you weren't feeling it, was you? No, no, not. It at just all. all turns round. Yeah, yeah. It's nice superb fish. fish. Yeah, and is that your second or third fifty? Second. Second fifty. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, I think you've got to stay till Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I think the big ones are going to be eating now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. And amongst it. Yeah, and I'll have another go at doing your dinner tomorrow <laughs> night. Can't go no worse. Yeah, second time lucky. <laughs> yeah. But I can only do it if you're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? No worries. Yeah, well done, Lee. Cheers, Cap. Yeah, look at the sun going down now. And, uh, yeah, full of anticipation for tonight, that's for sure. Well, mate, cracking week as always. Didn't get as many as we thought we were going to get, did we? No, definitely slowed up the last three days really from Wednesday onwards it, yeah. it, it went dead you know uh, first few days it was like four four takes a day at least so but then from Wednesday it slowed up yesterday only had one take but great. and thinking back to this time last year when we was in 21 <laughs> yeah and you was all relaxed retired chilling out doing what you want to do now you're busy as you like, aren't you? Oh, it's hey? Turn around, isn't it? I know, yeah. Yeah? It's your it's phone overrated. didn't stop all week. I know, it's overrated. Yeah, and do you know what? When I first met you, Lee, I think, oh, it's got to be the life, isn't it? Pro football or this and the other. If there is reincarnation, I ain't coming back as you. <laughs> You're too busy. <laughs> For sure, but look at the timing, Kev, look. Oh, Just great timing. Right. Yeah, great timing. Right. right, buddy, let you go, yeah? All right, Kev. All right, good to see you. Safe Cheers, journey. Mate. I'll keep you posted, yeah? Yeah, I'll give you a shout. Yeah, all right, Lee. Yeah, mate. See you, buddy, and thanks again, Lee. Yeah, tell him. It's a long road. Watch your head, watch your head. <laughs> and that tree, that bloody tree, how many times did you catch that tree? Yeah. And they're slightly lower than ones, Lee. <laughs> See you, mate. Yeah, cracking week with Lee. He's on his way back now. And as I say, shame he's had to go a day early, but he's what it is. And, uh, yeah, he had to think, as I say, this time last year, and just reminiscing, he had the lakes and, you know, doing a bit of work here and there, and honestly, that phone ain't stopped. But, yeah, good luck to him. And, uh, yeah, he's got a lot of balls in the air, for want of a better phrase. Um, yeah, right now then, so I'm going to skirt about, get myself a cup of tea, and, um, yeah, strategise for the next, sort of, what is it, 24, probably 36 hours on my own. Um because, yeah, it's challenging when there's two of you. So, um, yeah, got a couple of thoughts in mind. But, uh, yeah, before we start charging about, I'm just going to uh, relax a bit.